poor wireless connection. Good evening. Michelle Humes, your pucker up gal. <clears throat> Thank you all for hopping on tonight or tomorrow or in the morning, whenever you hop on. Um, it's been a while. been a while since I've been live, huh? That was my blower. <laughs> this is my new backdrop. Do you like it? I need to figure out how to get these wrinkles out. Um, yeah, it's got lines, and I want to feel like I'm at the beach. I don't want no lines on. I don't want any lines behind me. <laughs> Right? So if y'all know a trick, if you if I have to use a steamer or whatever it is, just pop it in the comments and let me know. Because I need to get these wrinkles out of my beach scene. I need a nice, flat relaxation. Sit back. Feel like I'm at the beach. Yay! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, ladies. Hi, Chantel. Hi, Deb. Hi, Jen. I got it on eBay, so if you're wondering, eBay, eBay is the place to go. Summer's coming, and I was like, you know what, I want a summer backdrop. Um, I'm ready. I am ready for the warm weather. If you are, drop a sunshine in the comments if you're ready for some warm weather. We had some thunderstorms last night. Oh my gosh, it literally made me jump out of my skin. The loud thunder, it was like a bomb went off in my backyard. That's how loud it was. <clears throat> okay y'all some of you are in business for yourselves and some of you are not and that is totally fine um, I'm just going to do a disclaimer really quick I am by I am not an expert okay I'm still learning I say this all the time what I'm learning I'm trying to share with you all and um, this isn't me telling you how to run your business. This is me simply giving you some tips and some things that you might not be thinking about when you are trying to run your business. So, hi, Judy. Patience, it's warm here. It's, it's warm here during the, there during the day, but at night it, gets, it still gets pretty chilly. It uh, still gets cold. Rain, rain, go away, right? Say rain, go, get, I'm over it. Yes, Chantel, I'm over it too. I'm done with the rain. No more rain. Bye, rain. See you later, rain. Woo. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to get right into it so I don't keep you all too long. I've had a crazy day with my granddaughter who did not have a nap. And I'm literally sitting here hoping and wishing that I was really at the beach. But that will happen soon enough. So... By a show of hands, some high fives, pounds, whatever you want, um, who can guess the one thing, the first thing that I want to say is harming your business? Chilly as in like 35, 40, that's cold for me. <laughs> that's cold for me. Cold is like below 40. <laughs> I cannot do cold whatsoever. Okay, so this is to help you all. Um, this is why I'm sharing. I want to help my friends that are in direct sales. And even for those that might not be getting the interaction that they really want or was expecting, let's say. And um, possibly if this is your first time in a direct sales business or um, you're just used to being on Facebook with just your friends and your family and you don't know what to do okay you're stuck so you're you're trying everything to promote your products and you're not getting any results okay so I'm gonna give you there are tons <laughs> let me just say this there are tons of things reasons and habits whatever you want to call them there's tons that so many do that other people follow and some people now might have great results doing this and then others won't. So the majority, the percentage of people that um, don't have good results doing the, the, these habits I'm about to share with you, um, the results are typically not in your favor, okay? Now, for someone that's branded themselves, they have, they're well-known, and all of a sudden they jump into a business, and they start promoting it left and right, they might do very well. Major they, the odds are in their favor because they already have a trusted network. So, 
<clears throat> I'm gonna get to your comments. Ooh, no negative eight. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm gonna go into each one and then give you some examples and also at the end, um, and if you think your friends or your other, you know, your network friends might get value from this, please share. I'm not gonna name my business in this video. I don't usually do that when I'm trying to um, share things that I've learned. So don't feel like I will be um, adding your friends trying to recruit people and all that stuff. Um, this is merely just to help my friends out who are also in business for themselves. So welcome ladies and thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you replay watchers. <clears throat> so who's ready for number one? Comment below with a number one if you're ready to hear the first habit that you might be doing that's actually harming your business. And these are usually before you brand yourself. So let's just say you just started a business and you don't know what to do, okay? So I'm going to give you the things not to do <laughs> that are possibly harming you. Number one, here we go. <clears throat> Random friend requests. Sending out and going through just a bunch of people and sending random friend requests. And then let's say five out of the 50 accept. And then you immediately go and message them talking about your business and your products and trying to convince them to buy from you. That's a big no-no. <clears throat> that's a big no-no. You are, a no-no is something that's going to hurt your business. Um, people need to trust you. They need to get to know you. And the best way to do that is for them to go to your page and to see all about you as a person and not your business. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to spam your your new friends and beg them for orders or um, try to convince them that, that this is for them, that they need to do this with you. Um, <clears throat> you need to get to know people. So let's not, let's not go to your, your, friends posts and then start picking off people in their in their comments to add for friends and then hounding them or messaging them the same thing you don't want to do that either so connect with people that you really want to get to know that's the first first habit you want to change is to re really look through those people you're sending a re uh, friend request to you know you might be sending all these friend requests and you really will probably get along with like five of them because you haven't taken the time to really go look at their wall and see what they're about. You could be friend requesting people that are already in the same business as you and you just haven't taken the time to check out their wall, their page. So, <clears throat> yes, Chantel, please, if people do do that to you and they don't know any better, give them the benefit of a doubt and help them. Give them some some advice, you know. Don't be mean to them. Don't get mad at them. Um, don't block them. Just be nice to them and try to give them some advice. Now, if they're mad at you for trying to give them advice, um, then that's their mindset, and you can't change that. They have to do that for themselves. But always, yes, always give give some kind of advice back to them because they might not know. They just genuinely don't know. So mo majority of the time, they really don't know. They're just following what other people are doing or they're being told to do it. So be the good person and help them out. Help them out. <laughs> okay? If you agree, comment with a number two <clears throat> that that is not a good thing to do. Um, randomly messaging people and spam. It's basically spam. You don't like spam? No! <coughs> yes, a lot of new people, um, they don't know. They genuinely do not know that they need to brand themselves. They need their networks to get to know them. People don't buy your products because they love your products. They normally buy from you because they actually trust you first. And then they get to know about the products. That's the truth. That's a freebie. 
All right, y'all. Number two. Here we go. Number two. This one I see a lot. I see it a lot, and I feel so bad. And, again, if you're well-branded, go for it. But if you're not, oh, my goodness. And I, and I want to reach out to so many people. So I was like, you know what? I've got to add this to my number five. I've got to add this next one to number five, you know, my five, top five, because I see it a lot. And it's a lot easier to share live than it is to message everybody individually that I see that do this. So here comes number two. Branding is not easy, but it is possible. And there's actually steps, Amanda, that I have taken to figure out what my brand is and to start working on it. So if you'd like for me to send that list to you, message me later and I will give you the outline that will help you figure out your brand. Okay? Number two is posting about your business and that's it. That's it. Nothing else. You don't share your life. You don't share your family, you don't share your friends, you don't share the things that you love that are have nothing to do with, with your business. Um, all you do is post about your, your business. Your, if you have sales, or the new product that came out, or the new promotion that came out, or um, whatever it is, if you're posting about your business in every single post, you might as well go make a business page because that's what that's for. Um, Facebook actually, their um, comp their agreement for a user for Facebook, they don't they actually do not allow us to post about our business on our personal walls. So if you're using keywords that spit out business, like buy or sell or get this now or you know whatever if it's a, if it's an actual business post and you can tell because it looks like an ad right um facebook doesn't like that and if you do it enough you're going to be marked as a spammer and you could not land in facebook jail but more importantly you're hurting your business by doing that you are hurting your business by just posting about your business. You've got to mix it up. You've got to add value to your network, your friends. They need value and they don't want an, a walking advertisement. That's what you're doing to yourself. You're making yourself look like an ad. You're making yourself look like a commercial is what you're making yourself look like. It's just boom, boom, boom. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Look what I got, look at that. And people, you know, you're propelling people. I'm going to be really, really honest. You're repelling people from your page. Um, and it's hurting your business. It really is hurting your business. So that's number two, is to not do that. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that it doesn't work for some people. It might work for some people. Because they've already got this huge network. And everybody trusts them already. Their friends already know who they are. And... Say for the first two months of their business, that's all they do is, you know, throw their stuff out. It might work for them for a little while, but it's a short term. It's a short term success. It's gonna win. It's gonna die down eventually. You're gonna have to, you know, do something else. Um, it's not gonna be a long term uh, success doing that. <clears throat> yes, Chantel, share. Hi, Sarah, share. Um, uplifting, inspiring, motivating um, quotes and yourself, the things that you love as a person that has nothing to do with your business. People need to know you, get to know you, what you love, what you do that has nothing to do with your actual business. Um, <clears throat> yes, it eventually will die down. It will work for a little while for some and for some it doesn't at all. And the best way to see if your brand is working is, is anybody that's not in your business interacting with you on your posts? Is anybody, you know, coming back to interact with you? That's a good sign that your brand is not working or 
you're just posting too much about your business over and over and over. If you're posting something and you see one like and that's it, you're not networking. You're simply just putting ads up. It's a hard lesson to learn, and that's why I'm sharing it for those that just don't know. Uh, this is for people that don't just don't know. They don't know this stuff, you know. They just get in a business. They see other people that are successful, and then they follow what everybody else is doing, um, and they think it's the right way. They think it's going to make them successful, too. Um, but they're not plugging into other details that can help them, like branding yourself. That is the biggest thing, is to learn how to brand yourself and to provide value to the people that are coming to your page. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I don't want to go on about branding because it's a totally, whole, totally different topic altogether. <clears throat> but you gotta, yes, you gotta keep working at it. Okay, so number two, that was number two. Show me a heart in the comments. If number two made sense to you, and if it didn't and you don't understand, message me later. I'll be happy to break these down even further. <clears throat> okay, who's ready for number three? Make sure you share this video so your friends that are in network marketing on your wall can see this too because they need to know. They need to know. If you look like an ad, that's what you are. That's the easiest way to say it. If your post looks like an advertisement, you are now posting like a commercial. People, people will, will be like, oh, okay, let me just fast forward past this, past this. Just like your DVR for your cable, it's the same thing. They see a post and automatically, without even reading the description that you wrote, and they're like, ah, scroll. They're going right by it. They're not even paying attention. That's the truth. If you get a sale out of it, it's a fluke. <laughs> it's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. It's probably not going to happen that often. Um, and that's really that's a hard, hard way to try to grow your business. I can keep going and going, but I'm trying not to get off topic, <laughs> y'all. Hi, Judy. Okay, number three. Ready for number three? Jen and Judy are ready for number three. Hi, Christina. Okay, number three. When people do come to your page, what do you do? When people are interacting and liking your stuff and commenting, what do you do? Don't you get excited? Don't you, um, you want to go back to your posts and you want to reply back and, you know, comment back with them and talk with them and maybe it's someone you've really gotten close to. Send them a private message and say hello, but don't talk about your business. Just have an actual conversation with people one-on-one -on -one and say hello. You know, go to their wall and see how they're doing and talk about that. Maybe they just got, got back from a, a vacation or maybe a new grandbaby was born or whatever the case may be. Um, number three is interaction. You have to reciprocate what was done on your wall to other people. You can't just take and take and take and take. You have to give back. You have to go back to those other people that have been coming to your page. You need to go to their page. You need to return the favor. Um, interact with them on their page as well. So don't be one-sided with interaction. That's number three. People sometimes forget that their friends also have their own pages. They have their own walls with their own posts. Just return the favor. Return the favor. Don't forget to follow the ones that follow also. You want to follow them. And I understand um, sometimes You've got so many friends that sometimes it's even hard to make an appearance every single day on everybody's wall. Um, there's going to be a point in, in time where it's going to be impossible. It's going to be impossible to return the favor to every single person that has commented or liked on a post. Um, 
If you're getting like a thousand views on your video and 500 likes on a post, that's a lot of people, right? So you're going to have to pick and choose the common denominators. And what I mean by that is who's showing up every day. You're going to notice really quick who actually comes to your wall every single day. Those people are like your BFFs. Those people are the ones that you want to connect with on a more personal level and get to know them. You're going to see them. I have a choppy signal. Oh, I think it said my, my connection was weak. A little, hi, Tina. <laughs> Christina, you're so adorable. What's up? Yes, Judy, go to the page, interact. Yeah, my signal, it was raining here really bad earlier, and uh, my internet has been in and out, so it might be that. I don't think it's your um, phone, Chantel. I don't think it's you. I think it's my connection, so I'm sorry, you guys, if I get blurry and go in and out. Okay, so that was number three. Number three, um... Don't be greedy. Number three, that's basically what it means. Don't be greedy and just wait for people to come to you. You have to go to people. You have to interact with people. That was number three. Jen, you've noticed who shows up every day. <clears throat> yes, you do. You will, you will see it. It'll be very transparent. Thank you, Christina. Amanda's like, come on, give me number four. <laughs> Amanda, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number four. If you're ready for number four, comment number four. Here we go. Number four. I could go on and on. I've got lots to share, but I'm only doing five today. Top My, my top five that I want to share. Just going to save me a ton of time, not having to message a bunch of people and giving advice. So, number five. I'm number four. Excuse me. Let's not skip four. <laughs> Okay, number four, and I bet all of you are going to agree with this. As soon as I say it, I know y'all are going to start throwing me some hearts or lip emojis below. You're going to be doing something. Number four. Here it is. Are you ready for number four? Here it is. Number four. What is hurting your business? What habit if you have it, if you have this habit, you need to nip it in the bud and be done with it and be gone with it and stop. Like stop, immediately stop being negative, complaining, and being ungrateful. <clears throat> All three of those. <laughs> being negative, complaining, and being ungrateful. If you're posting in a negative manner, complaining and being ungrateful for anything not just business stuff I'm talking about anything anything oh I left my water anything negative <clears throat> no as soon as you do that let me tell you what's gonna happen as soon as you do that it's not oh no not only hurts your business it attracts negative people to your page. It attracts negativity into your life. It attracts... <laughs> this is what happens. Listen, just listen. For what, I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. Let's say you posted something negative, okay? And then you put at the end of the post... Something like, who else has this happened to? What's going to happen is everybody that that's happened to, or even similar, is going to want to comment on that post with their story and what's happened to them. So not only are you going to have a bad day, but you're going to sit there and be reminded of that bad day and that bad moment or whatever it is you're negative about every single time someone comments on the post. Every time. The next day, someone finds the post and comments. You're going to be reminded of it again. 
You need to let it go. Write it down in a journal. Roll up the paper. Toss it in the trash. Do whatever you got to do to get it out of your system and move on. Do not post it on Facebook. Do not put it on Facebook. You are asking the universe to leave that negative vibe right there for you to see, for all your friends to see, and then you're you're sucking in all those negative people that love to have that kind of attention. You know what I'm talking about. You see it. I know you see it. Don't be one of those people. Don't. You're hurting yourself. Not just your business. You are hurting yourself. You're keeping yourself down at this level, down here. When you want to be up here, you want to be motivated, inspired, and you want to have like a high energy to run with whatever you're doing. You want to have a very positive mindset to have a great day. And if you throw out something negative, it's like a bomb getting ready, just waiting to explode in your face. Don't do it. Don't do it. Get a pen, get a pad, start writing down your feelings, whatever it is that hurt you, whatever whatever it is, okay? And look at it and reread it and say, believe me, if you look at it and read it over and over again, you're you're going to probably be like, what the heck? You know, this isn't making my life. It's not definitely not breaking my life, and I ain't got time for this. You roll that ball of negativity up and th literally throw it in the trash and say, I'm done. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Burn it. Yes, Christina. <laughs> Burn it. <laughs> yes, that's the same thing. That, that's negativity, Tina. Ranting about something that someone did to you. Cussing and threatening and all that. That's high school, junior high school crap. Okay? You cannot change what people do to you. The only thing you can change is how you react to it. The only thing you have control over is how you react to it, okay? And if you're going to do it again, if they shame you once, shame on them. If they shame you twice, shame on you. Don't hang around with those people. It's as simple as that. If you've got people that are causing drama in your life and you keep staying around those people, shame on you. That's as honest as I can be. Get away from that. You have a choice to hang around with like-minded, positive people. You do not have to be around people that drag you down. You don't. You don't. So if someone's making you feel like you've got to stick around, don't. If they're dragging you down, be done. Be done. Out the door. Bye-bye. Say goodbye, move on. If you want to get if you want to get ahead in life, you've got to be around people that lift you up. People that try to suck all of your positive energy out of you are doing it because they are miserable, not because you're miserable. They're either, either jealous of you for actually making that choice to do something with your life and to be positive, and they don't know how to do it. So their first reaction is to drag you down with them because they don't have the first clue on how to get out of their negative situation. So you have two choices. Two choices. You can either share with them how you're doing it and help them and give them a chance or just say, listen, I don't have time for this negative crap. Just tell them. Hit the delete button if it's on Facebook, but if it's in real life, you need to tell people. I don't have time for negativity. I don't. I'm not in high school anymore. I'm a grown-ass woman, and I don't got time for it. <laughs> That's just bye. That's just, <laughs> just, you know how many people I've deleted <laughs> that have messaged me or said something negative to me and try to tell me what to do? Bye. That was number four. Number four, negative, complaining, and ungrateful people. Yep, bye. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
And if you have friends that do this to you, you need to share this on your wall because they need to hear this. Shame on you if you do this to your friends. Shame on you if you put your friends down for trying to better their lives. Shame on you for sitting there judging people and thinking you know more than them and you're trying to tell them what to do. Let them live their life. You live yours. And if you can't do what she's doing, then go, just go. Go. You don't have to hang around. You don't have to do what she's doing because she's doing it. But if you're a true friend, if you're a true, genuine friend, you won't put her down for it. No, you'll support her. You'll be there for her. You'll lift her up and be positive with her and work on yourself. All right. That was number four. Okay, number five. Who's ready for the last one? <laughs> last one. Last one. Last one. I have a lot, but I'm doing five. Told you all five. That's it. Just five. <clears throat> ready for number five? Comment with the number five. Y'all get me on a tangent, y'all get me going when you start commenting and I start reading. Y'all get me just like fired up to spill the beans and be completely <laughs> just open. My mouth opens, it doesn't shut. <clears throat> Judy and Jen and hi Bridget, <laughs> I didn't see you, I'm so sorry. Number five, this one's a doozy. And this is, the, number five, is mostly for those that have never been in direct sales. And they're just starting, okay? Um, number five is. Yeah, I got that squirrel syndrome, Jen. I do. I sure do. I see a comment and I just go, whoo! <laughs> so for those that don't, <laughs> that like, where the hell is she going? That's where I went. Okay, number five. When you're starting a brand new business and you are brand new, let's say, to social media, um, you just got a Facebook account and you saw this great opportunity, you jumped in, and you have no idea what to do. But you do have some friends that you watch that do number one through four. <laughs> Okay, and you just follow. You're just following along, trying to give it your all, right? Okay, <clears throat> for those people, and even for people that have been, might even be doing it for a few months, two months, three months, four months, you really need to give yourself a few years to, to see if whether or not it's going to work or not for you. Because you really need, a, there's a lot to learn. Again, squirrel, getting off topic. Okay, number five. Expecting unusual results and comparing what others are receiving or doing is going to harm your business. Expecting to have the same results as somebody else because they're posting a certain way is going to hurt your is going to hurt you. It's going to hurt your business. And the reason why is everybody is different. Everybody is unique. Everybody is their own person. You need to be yourself. You need to be you. And if you go and copy and paste what other people are doing and expect to have the same results, you're not going to have the same results. Um, you're just copying somebody else's life, basically. Um, their words, their posts, or whatever. It's not you. You want to be you. You want to be genuinely you on your wall. So, the best advice I can give for that is to figure out what you're passionate about and post about it. Figure out what you love to do that has nothing to do with your business. I mean, do you love to cook? Do you have children? Do you have pets? Um, do you like to jog? Do you like to exercise? Do you eat healthy? Whatever it is, do you like to go camping? Do you like to go swimming? Um, do you like fires in the backyard? Whatever it is, okay, that's you. You need to share you. And stop watching what everybody else is sharing and sharing that. Um, 
Because when's the last time? Ask yourself this question. When was the last time you went to a top leader's page, her wall, or his wall, and seen a bunch of copy and pasted messages from other people's walls? When was the last time? Probably never. And if they did copy and paste, they probably put an insert above it, like this is the jam, perfectly said, couldn't have said it better, and then gave the person credit. That's totally different. But you're never going to see a top leader copying and pasting other people's things from their walls. They're themselves. And that's probably the best advice I could give you when first starting out in direct sales is not to throw up a bunch of product posts and hoping for the best and calling that work. That's not networking. You need to show your network who you are. You need to let them in. You need to give them value. Whatever you're selling, let's say, let me give you some examples of what value is, okay? Today, I posted a photo of our exfoliator that I sell, right? Now, I could have simply wrote what the item was. Look at this. This is this. I use it every night. The I thing. I, I, I. That's bad, too. That's another lie. Anyways, I'm giving you an example, okay? I could have done it this way. I could have just thrown the photo up, right, and said, y'all need this. If you have dry skin, message me. There's really no value there. There's no value with that. It's just, I'm just blatantly saying what I think people need. And that, there's no value in that. But instead, I did the post and, and explained why exfoliating is important <laughs> and talked about actual dead skin cells. That's providing value with your posts. That's attractive. What's not attractive is just throwing up a photo and saying people need it. So... You've got to think outside the box. You've got to show people who you are as a person because, hey, this is the truth. This is the truth. A year from now, you might decide to go somewhere else. Why would you brand yourself as a business? You have to brand yourself as a person. Because if a year from now you decide to be somewhere else, it won't matter that you're going somewhere else. Because people already know who you are. It doesn't matter what you're selling. They need to trust you. They want to know you. They need to know that they can trust you and, and that you're going to give them the right help that they need for whatever they're looking for. Whether it's jewelry, nails, whatever, hair skin, makeup, whatever it is, whatever you're selling. Your friends need to trust you first. Once you gain their trust and you actually have genuine relationships with them, that's when the long-term success starts to roll in. That's when you start to see a shift in your business because you successfully have branded yourself, okay? And it takes work. It's not going to happen overnight. So number five is to, to stop expecting unexpected results just because you just joined a business. You need to give it time. You need to, it, it's, it's just like going to school. You don't go to kindergarten and then a month later you graduate 12th grade, right? You don't go to college and then the next month you're done. You've got your doctor's degree. Basketball players, they don't just jump on the court and start playing basketball. No, they have to learn all the rules. They have to learn how to work with everybody around them. They don't just get on the court and make all these, you know, they don't make all these points. Um, they have to learn how to do all this. It's the same thing with babies. Your business is your baby. Um, babies don't learn how to walk when they come out of the womb. They have to learn all this stuff. You need to take baby steps. You need to learn 
Step one, step two, step three, and work towards it. Learn how to do it and be patient. Work your baby so that a few years from now, you're not crawling anymore. Now your baby is running. Okay, see? Is it make, am I making sense? I sure hope I'm making sense to y'all because now I'm just going off. <laughs> like, just, just say it like it is, okay? Treat your business like it's your baby. You, you've got to nurture it. You've got to learn. You've got to invest in yourself. You've got to do personal development. You need to grow. There's always room to grow for yourself. There's always room to be a better person. Learn. Keep learning as much as you possibly can. And every time you learn something, and implement it. Start to actually add it into your daily routine. And then when you get used to it, go learn something else. Because believe me, there's a lot. There is a lot to learn. It is not, network marketing is not, let me go join a business and a month later I'm going to be rich. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Um, and that's the truth. And that's it. That's the truth. So, that's my top five. My top five habits to break, to get rid of, to stop doing. If you want to see long-term success, not short-term results, not something that's going to last you a few months, I'm talking about residual real income in the long run, as in a few years of your life, a few years of your time, doing things the right way will get you results. That's, that's, I can't guarantee your results because you have to put the work in. You have to put the effort in. You have to make up your mind that you're going to do this and you're going to learn and you're going to do it and and get rid of those negative people. Surround yourself with positive people always. Um, that's it. If you guys have any questions at all, please message me after the video. I will go through the comments. I'm so sorry that I have missed y'all's comments. Um, they do distract me. I end up going off and start talking about other things. Um, and I wanted to try to stay on topic as much as I could without having a, an hour-long video. Because I know y'all's time is important. Um, but I appreciate you all coming on. And if you haven't shared yet, please share with your network so that they can know. Because I'm sure there's people out there just starting a brand new business and they just don't know. They don't know. And um, this isn't just something that I want to share with just my team. There are so many people on social media now um, that need to hear this and they they don't know yet. They don't know. So it's better to share publicly than privately. That's why I'm doing this live on my personal wall. So have a great night, everybody. God bless. Stay pucker up beautiful. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you all soon. Bye.